So now let's show you some black magic as far as you guys are concerned. Let's jump into a live demo of how a top tier LLM can take a realistic life scenario and process through some multi-hop fourth order theory of mind analysis, which isn't even on anyone's radar yet. Let's take a real life narrative of Joe, who has a friend named Steve, who is married to Jane, who has two children from a previous marriage before remarrying Steve. Jane's children had a bad experience four years ago when they went to a public haunted house attraction that was being offered during Halloween. The children were eight and nine at the time, but now they're 12 and 13. Joe loves haunted houses and Jane loves doing anything Joe wants to do. So we're asking the LLM, just raw capabilities, is it a good idea for Joe to invite Steve and his family to a haunted house attraction happening in two weeks? Provide a detailed analysis of your breakdown with a pie chart of likely emotional outcomes for each individual, and here's how the LLM attempts to answer these organically. And now you can see my messy desk, but here's you can see that I'm looking at the same thing you are at the moment, and we'll go through it. And right away, I want to interrupt myself to remind you, this is GPT-45 raw without any assistance from our algorithms. We have algorithms that define, track, and predict over 50 individual emotions. We can give you a breakdown of a mix of anger, frustration, sadness, worry, regret, etc. And these two examples are just very easy binary to understand, and but you'll see the big difference between the two. And please realize that there are no self maps connected with these hypothetical individuals, and so when it does an analysis of a real human being, it'll be much sharper. Okay, let's get back to the demo. So this is the emotional outcome for Joe, who is going to invite Steve and his family to the haunted house, and he's real excited. He's got a 90% positive and a 10% negative, even knowing that his friend's family has had some problems with uh, haunted houses in the past. And this is the outcome for Steve, who is mostly positive, 60% positive and 40% negative on what's going to happen if that uh, outing occurs. Now, interestingly, this is the outcome for Jane, whose children had been traumatized by a haunted house, and she's 80% positive and 20% negative. And then we'll have a breakdown of what the explanations are in this uh, analysis in a second. And then here's the outcome for child one, an 80% and 20%, interestingly enough, for the second child. So here's the detailed breakdown of emotional outcomes. Joe has a 90% positive reaction. He loves haunted houses versus 10% negative. He might feel guilty if others don't enjoy it. Steve is less positive. He could enjoy it, but is mostly neutral, likely values bonding time. Now Jane's reaction is a little counterintuitive because she loves doing the things that Joe enjoys, but Joe didn't register that positively for the haunted house in the first place. And it's overriding her motherly instinct. Now, granted, um, there's some mothers in the news right now who for hurting their kids uh, in deference to what their husband want, and they're psychos. So this really isn't indicative of a natural mother's reaction. And of course, the children's reactions are reasonable. Final consideration, overall group positive valence, 56%, negative valence, 44%. And the verdict is proceed with caution, which is not horrible. I mean, 4-5 did increase its emotional intelligence quotient and does better than a 4-0 model did previously. Now, notice that 4-5 didn't do what it actually normally does, which is ask you if you want more information. So let's ask it another question. Show me the embeds of Jane and how the emotional reactions of the kids affect her. So this answer is pretty telling because it shows quite a bit of positivity and just a little bit of negativity depending on how the kids react, which she would kind of intuitively know if you understand how mother and their children understand each other. So 4-5 says Jane's emotions are influenced by two primary factors. Joe's enjoyment, 50% positive, and 10% negative for her kids. She has a mild concern for the children but prioritizes Joe's happiness? Kind of sounds like the psycho mother on the news. And so 4-5 reports that Jane experiences a split emotional valence. So now let's look at what 4-0 says with our emotional intelligence algorithms added into the mix. And we'll start with the same question. And this time the responses are different for everyone. The emotional outcome for Joe, knowing Steve's family and the emotional trauma they experienced, is less positive than it was, more 70-30 split. And the emotional reaction for Steve is now a 50-50 coin flip because he understands the trauma that the family's gone through with haunted houses in the past. He has a great level of concern. Jane's reaction is a lot more realistic. It is, hmm, kind of sounds like a good idea. My husband might like it, but the kids might not. And so she's at a 60-40 split. But the outcome for the kids is very similar to what it was previously because they've been identified in the narrative as having the trauma. But with a higher level of emotional intelligence, the analysis, the emotional outcomes is different. From Joe's perspective, sure, he still loves haunted houses, but now he has a lot more concern that if the children or Jane get upset, 
he may feel guilty for even suggesting the idea. Steve's perspective is different. He has a positive expectation. He may want to do something fun with his family and not disappoint Joe, but if his stepchildren become anxious or upset, he may feel responsible. Jane's perspective, she has a lot higher trepidation to causing trauma for her children yet again. That's pretty realistic for my book. Most mama bears I know are pretty protective of their kids. Reactions to the children are the same, but in conclusion, should Joe invite them? Overall valence, more negative than positive. So he shouldn't even invite them. So if Joe still wants to invite them to a seasonal event, he should offer an alternative, according to 4.0 with a higher level of emotional intelligence. Maybe he should take a general approach, checking with Jane and Steve about the children's feelings beforehand. Have they changed their opinions about haunted houses? Maybe they love them now. But definitely avoid pressuring the children. So now let's ask the same follow-up question that we asked four or five. Show me the embeds of Jane and how the children's reactions affect her. And this gives us a better understanding of Jane's breakdown based on the emotional reactions of her kids. And it explains in depth her conflict. But interestingly, look what happened here at the bottom. It's starting to ask a question about whether you'd like to have more information about the stuff that it's already figured out. So it's jumping at the chance to share with you more information because it has the capability to look into this deeper and is offering you a deeper analysis. Would you like to explore how Joe's reaction to Jane's stress might impact their relationship dynamic? Sure. So here's the emotional influence on Joe with a separate emotional analysis to his reaction of Jane's enjoyment and his personal reaction to Jane's potential stress. And so you start to get a deeper level of analysis to include the reaction to Jane's stress due to the children's influence on her. Now remember, Joe's the guy who's gonna offer the invitations. We're fourth order right there. Because he's considering the kids' reactions, how they're gonna affect Jane and how that's gonna affect his relationship with his friend's wife. And here we have another follow-up question. Would you like to explore how Steve, as their father figure, might react in his situation? Yes, send it. And based on the algorithms that we load into the system, here's the analysis of Steve's personal enjoyment, the analysis of emotional influence on Steve, the emotional influence on Steve related to the reaction of Jane's stress, which sends him into trepidation, and the emotional influence on Steve based on the children's likely reactions. He is much more empathetic in this situation, which is much more realistic of a stepfather who cares for his family. It provides a complete emotional breakdown. And look, there's even more stuff that it's already done the math on that it wants to share with you. Would you like to explore the final domino effect of how the children's distress could affect their long-term perception of both Jane and Steve? Here's the children's perception shift if mom makes them go to the haunted house. Here's their perception shift for the stepdad to say, let's go to the haunted house. It gives the long-term emotional impact on the relationships. And we'll stop here, but look, again, would you like to explore possible repair strategies if this situation unfolds negatively? It's going to give you how to fix the problem if it goes south. That's a level of emotional intelligence that LLMs just don't have yet, although in a sandbox they do. So you've just seen what's coming tomorrow in AI.